Hey Fit Fam, how's it going? Just had an amazing workout. It's Andrew Clark here, uh, your friendly neighborhood athletic therapist. Part uh, three here to Therapy Thursday, I wanna talk to you about valgus knees and proper landing. So a lot of people or a lot of clients of mine complain, oh I've got really sore knees from the jumping. Now if you guys don't have like crazy previous meniscal tears or very you know highly degenerate arthritic changes, you shouldn't be having this issue, so probably some part of the problem is you're just not landing properly when you are doing the impact things like jump squats or box jumps. Okay, so I'm here to talk to you about uh, a few common mistakes, how we can correct that, and then I want you to try and incorporate that into the workouts now. Okay, so valgus knees comes from when you're uh, doing either any kind of squats or impact jump squats, box landing, your knees are actually coming inwards and now that's coming from a little bit of poor hip stabilization and then just uh, improper coordination and uh, motor control. So we're gonna address that right now. Um, I'm gonna show you a few tips on how to correct that. So we're gonna use this box here. And all I want you to do is you're gonna get up onto the box. Now a couple things you wanna do is you wanna land with your butt back so that your knees aren't coming over your toes. And then you really wanna engage your glute medius. This is that hip stabilizer there. So you should really be in control of your knees going inwards. So you wanna make sure that your hips are nice and stable. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna walk up, land nice and soft. So you're landing on the balls of your feet, rolling onto your heels, nice and stable through the hips and sitting with your butt back. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time. And then we're gonna show you a different angle. I'm gonna show you one with bad technique and then two with the good technique. So you're walking over, balls at the feet, nice soft landing, hips are stable, knees shoulder width apart. Okay, so we're gonna switch up angles just so you can see a better look. Okay, so this is what it would look like with an improper technique. Landing, hopping off of a box or just landing from a jump squat. To correct that, okay, we we'll want that nice hip stabilization. The knees are landing uh, shoulder width apart, landing on the balls of the feet, rolling down to the heel, sitting with the butt back. And you should barely hear that impact once you hit the floor, okay? Now you wanna incorporate this into your jump squats as well. So if you're just standing on the spot, you're always landing with the hip stable, okay? The butt is back, landing on the balls of the feet, and then rolling down towards the heel. We're not just kind of collapsing forward. That's when you're going to get that big compression and shearing force. Okay? So, valgus knees, proper landing, good hip stability. Now, if you've just got uh, really bad weak hip stabilizers, check out my next video on uh, part one of hip stability. Okay? We'll catch you later, Fit Fam. Take care.